Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to set up the SQT survival template. You can see with Emerald AI enemy. So you can see that he is damaging the player. On the left uh, bottom, you can see the health, and we can also damage him. So let's get some weapon and uh, let's attack him. he is uh, far away from the weapon so let's get some other weapon so let's get this yeah, this is you can see that we can damage him and to kill him great you can see that we have uh, killed the enemy so this is it we are going to implement the emerald ai with stp in this video we are going to learn how to set up uh, stp survival template pro kit with the unity and we will also learn how to set up the ai enemies for our template so this video will be very useful for you and uh, definitely if you have the stp template you can set up the stp template with emerald ai and uh, that's it great uh, that's it you can develop your own beautiful interesting game so here i have created a project with the name of a survival template and uh, now the first thing first we will import our main asset so first of all you can see that here is our project and we will just simply drag drop our package to the project and i'm using the 2021.3.16 f1 lts version of unity so uh, if you will use the similar versions you will face no problem at all uh, definitely this uh, template uh, is, uh, is workable uh, for 2020 version and later versions so uh, in the older versions it may not be compatible so we will wait for some seconds okay at uh, this step we will simply click on import and we will click on install upgrade so it will take some time so this step is very important you can see that when you will import uh, this project is using the new input system but package but the native platform backends of the new input system are not enabled so what you will have to do we will just click on yes okay so it will restart the editor after compiling some scripts and what will happen is that uh, nothing will be there and we have to import stp again so this is a important step so let's wait for some seconds again so now when the system will be restart unity you will see that there is nothing at all so no problem again we will just track off the same package and now at this time our package will be imported successfully okay so let's wait for some seconds again and now you will see we will have a prompt here for importing the relevant assets okay so at this step again we will click on import again we will click on install upgrade and now at this time you can see that we have our package let's click on import and now uh, our package will be imported successfully hopefully so again we will wait for some seconds and we will resume the video okay so now you can see that everything is imported we can go to this folder we have a survival template we have a manual actually so you can search this manual as well although it's very small manual uh, but uh, definitely you can handle things uh, in uh, this uh, template so we'll go to samples and the demo and we have the scenes and we have a main menu and showcase and icon market and forest scene so let's for example open the showcase scene and let's see how this asset will look like and uh, uh, just maximize the thing and let's play the game and you will see that it is a very nice uh, 
a character controller and uh, yeah you can see now we have lot of weapons we can just hover to the weapon and uh, then we can just press e to fetch that weapon you can see we have a torch so we can pick the uh, axe as well we have this uh, weapon as well so as you can see okay so we also have the uh, this bow weapon which is very nice weapon and i personally like it too much oh yeah you can see very nice and we have a nice gun as well so we can just pick the gun we can pick the ammo and we can just right click click and you can see we have a very nice focus of the scope you can see oh. very nice so you can see that overall we have a lot of things over here i don't want to explore this asset too much although if you want to learn about more things uh, inside this template you can uh, just uh, mention it in the comments but uh, you can see that we are here on the tree and we can actually get the uh, change the weapons by pressing one two three keys and you can see and this feature i like it too much you can see i will just cut out the tree and yeah great you can see wow beautiful so you can see that this asset is uh, too good and uh, it also have a save system you can save the game and uh, it has a save and load system and lot of other things so now we need some enemies in scene as well so let's see how we will do that so let's go to the assets so we can just uh, find emerald ai and uh, here is the emerald ai version is 3.1.52 which we are going to use so let's import this asset and then i will show you that how we will integrate the asset properly to damage the player and damage the enemy as well at uh, this stage we will just import everything including in emerald ai and then after importing everything we will just set up our player and set up our enemy accordingly okay at this step you can see that if you play the game you can see we our play game has an error here you can see the errors okay so how we will fix this error no problem we will just go to project we will just go to this poly uh, Poly mind games folder and then integrations and you can see that we have two integration one is for fsm ai template and one is for emerald ai template i will show you how you can implement emerald ai you can do so with fsm ai but uh, currently with these versions uh, the fsm ai template was not working that's why i'm showing uh, this scenario and uh, after importing the scripts you will see that uh, our errors will be uh, invisible uh, from here just uh, we will uh, fix these errors by importing this uh, add-on or you can see integ SA integration so let's wait for some seconds again so now you can see that uh, we have no error at all okay great so now we will just implement the we will just find the player main player so let's go to polygrid survival samples and then we can go to prefabs and then we can go to core and then here is our player prefab okay so this pre, player prefab has these uh, you can see the default components and we can actually add a new component here and we will just uh, open the prefab if we want then we can just click here and we will add a component emerald 
AI damage uh, Emerald AI player damage okay so this component we need on this player and here you can see we have a effects you can add the effects you can uh, add the damage mode we will just move with the current mode okay no issue and that's great so now our player will be damaged when the enemy will t attack so now let's go to the emerald ai and uh, let's uh, go to demo demo sources prefabs ai and we have some ai is here so let's drag drop ai here so in our case sorry scene view and let's drag drop this ai and uh, now you can see that uh, we have a nice ai but uh, it, we have to do some things here first of all we have to change the layer from water to uh, from water to hitbox okay and uh, we'll just click this object only okay so this is very important thing then we also need a component on this object as well so the component is inside the polymer and where we have actually the integrations emerald ai so we'll just select the enemy and we will add this script to enemy okay so when you will add this script to enemy you can see that we have emerald poly mind fps damage okay script so that's great so here you can add the critical hit chance received and image modifier you can play with the sliders but we are not going into much details and then the final thing we have to do is that for the enemy we'll just go to detection and tags and we'll go to detection options and uh, yeah and tag options tag and fictions and in the tag options you can see that we have a detection layers so here we have to select character as well okay so here we have to select character you can uncheck the water if you want so this is important and here follow tag we have to select the player okay and one more thing we have to do is that inside the faction options we have to set up this thing if it is not added here player relation you have to add player tag player and uh, relation tab enemy so that's it now we will be able to attack on enemy and enemy will attack us let's see so yeah you can see enemy is coming towards us and he is, oh great he is attacking and you can see that there is our health in the left bottom and you can see that we are he is damaging our health by minus five okay. so let's damage him uh, so let's get some weapon okay okay i think we are under attack so that's why we can't get the weapon so let's run away and then we just get some weapon okay let's fix this thing okay so let's attack him now so the click here okay so now as you can see that we can attack him and we can damage him as well so he is also attacking us and that's great we can see that enemy is die so that's great we have successfully uh, added integrated the enemy emerald ai with stp that's it for this video goodbye